All right, so let's do a little uh, myth busting, at least myth, myth, myth busting, <laughs> according to me. This whole question of wiping glue squeeze out with a wet rag, I almost never do it. 99% of squeeze out in my shop does not get wiped with a rag dipped in water. And here's the reason. So yellow glue is water soluble. Great news. If this is wet and I start working on these seams to try to clean that up, a couple things are going to happen. This is red oak. Water raises the grain like crazy on red oak. So generally on a big panel like this, I've pretty well prepared these boards coming to this point. They're flat, they're reasonably smooth, they're in pretty good shape. If I raise the grain, I'm going to have to knock that back down. But even more critical, you know, knocking the grain back down, that's a sanding operation, I can make that happen. But I think what's worser is when this is wet and I start wiping that glue, what I'm really doing is I'm smearing it all over the place. Now the theory is the wet rag is removing the glue residue. However, if I don't get it all off and I'm leaving a film of glue in the wood, when is that going to show up? When I get the first coat of finish on here. So right now what I've got are glue beads that are really isolated. They're right on the seams. And what I'm going to do with these is when this gets a little bit rubbery, maybe 15 or 20 minutes after I put it on, I'm going to take a putty knife or a chisel and brrr, I'm going to slice that glue bead right off of there. It's going to clean up really well. If I start moving it around with a wet rag, I'm going to have a problem. So for me, maybe you do something different that works for you. I never wipe with a wet rag and that's why. Now the reason the end grain cutting board is laying here is I did say 99% of the time I don't wipe with a wet rag. End grain cutting boards are an exception. Now the way these get glued up is you stand all these strips up, you glue them together. It's quite an uneven surface. There's glue all over the place. I know that the next operation following that glue up is going to be lots and lots and lots of leveling to get this flat. So because I know I'm going to take off, geez, at least a sixteenth of an inch worth of wood in order to get this flat, that tells me if I wipe this with a wet rag and I leave glue residue on the surface, when I do this leveling operation, I'm going to cut that glue residue right off of there. So my qualifier to this whole thing is if this panel's getting glued up and you've got a planer that wide and you're fixing to send this through the planer to level the whole thing out after the glue up, go ahead and wipe the glue. If you don't have a planer or a surface sander to handle that, then your next step is a random orbit sander, don't wipe the glue because I think you're still going to have residue. So that's my approach to it. Like I said, you know, different recipes for different woodworkers. But for me, most of the time, I let that glue sit until it's rubbery, then I slice it off. The exception being when I know there's going to be a pretty aggressive machining operation following the glue up, then you can get away with wiping it. So pick the approach that works for you and your shop and go from there. But whatever you do, don't leave glue residue on that project.